Hello and uh, welcome everyone. Dr. Mandel here with you. I want to say welcome to all of our listeners who are tuning in with us worldwide. We are streaming live. Uh, today's program is going to be about the many different exercise stretches that you can do for the pec minor. Uh, this is about posture. This is about pronation of the shoulders. Uh, this is rounding of the shoulders. I think you'll actually enjoy looking at this because these are mainly pictures I'm going to show you. I had to do some homework and kind of get the right ones uh, for you. Uh, this is all about these different chest stretches. Let's move in to our first uh, view here of the pec, mi pec minor, that is. Uh, this pec minor is uh, one of the most important muscles that when everyone who has poor posture, these muscles are going to shorten. They're going to contract. When they contract, they're going to pull the shoulder forward. They're going to cause that rounding, that hunching. So when you look at the pec minor, we're looking at the origin of the third to fifth uh, ribs. We're looking at the insertion in the caracoid process up in the scapula right here. Okay. And uh, when they pull, it's going to pull that, uh, that scapula. It's going to draw it forward and draw it downwards. And so when it draws it forward and downwards, that means we're going to get this forward hunching. Obviously, when that head goes forward, those uh, postural muscles are going to hunch. So in every condition where you have poor posture, these are the most important muscles to stretch in the body because every time they're going to be contracted. Let's look here. You can see from the side view, uh, you can see the pec minor here. You can just see that when the muscle shortens, we're looking at the big picture, not the little one, uh, it's going to rotate that shoulder forward. Okay, women with breasts uh, have this problem because there's more weight. Uh, obviously, if you spend any time or a lot of time texting, computer, driving, writing, reading, anything you're doing that you're looking down, uh, this is going to be a, a serious problem. Now, what you see up on the upper left there moving around, uh, that is the pec minor and major. The major is kind of a big one, but we're concentrating on the pec minor. Uh, that is important for our sake right here. Now, let's get right into the stretches. Uh, I'm going to go through these real quick because you're going to be able to come back to them and learn from these really simple. Uh, the key thing I wanted to make a point on this A, B, and C, uh, we're going to start with the elbows lower as uh, and as B, we bring the elbows uh, parallel to the ground and C, we bring the elbows higher up. And the purpose of that is to stretch a different angle of that muscle. Uh, when we're dealing with muscles, we're looking at angles. It's not just stretching a muscle. The, the different positionings that we hold our arms, the different angle of the muscle, the more angles that you, that you stretch within a muscle, uh, the better off you're going to be. Uh, the more progress you're going to make. You're going to move a lot quicker. Here's another one. Just laying on a ball. And I'm going to show you a few of these. Uh, this just drop the arms, stretching the chest muscles. Uh, here's another one here, uh, taking a band. Uh, you have the TheraBand. You have other bands. And you could just kind of lift it up. Uh, and just put it behind your arms. Uh, as you lift your arms, put it behind your shoulders. And just hold it if your shoulders are able to allow you to do so. And that will open up your chest muscles as well. Uh, that's actually a pretty cool one. Uh, here's another one. You can see the angle. It's about the angle of her arms. Before they were just laid out to the side. Now they're laid out in front of her or above her, superior to her head. And she's going to work a different angle of that pec minor. Okay, now you still are going to stretch some of, the, some of the pec major. But our pec minor is what we're concerned with, is what we're chasing. Okay, you can see that's the major on top, the minor is underneath. Uh, here is another great stretch. I really love this. This is a common stretch for runners, uh, just generally stabilizing the uh, left side of her body on her left arm, taking that right side and just laying it on the ground and just kind of twisting her body. That's an excellent stretch for uh, a pec, pec minor, by the way. Here, as many of you do this already, just kind of taking your hands behind your back, clasping your hands. And the reason why I'm showing you this, I'm going to show you another one, because you notice that her hands are lower or closer to her body. Just keep that in mind right there. As you see right here, her hands are up away from her body. Now try that, because you're going to feel a different angle, a different stretch. You can do the stretch 
five different ways and feel it five different ways from the same kind of stretch when you change the angle. Okay, uh, here again, just getting up to a wall and you, that hand can come lower and it can come higher to change the angle. I just want to let you kind of understand about angles. Now, here is another one. She's not laying on a ball because not all of you will have these yoga balls or these fitness balls at home. She just put something under her uh, upper back area. It could be a basketball. It could be anything. I can't really see what it is. Uh, but just by doing that and just getting the angles, letting her arms fall, uh, if you really want to, what you can do, you can take like a can of beans. You could put a little weight in both hands and that will kind of stretch a little bit more. Or you can get someone to stand right there and kind of push your arms to help you guide the stretching a little bit slower and uh, steadier. Uh, here's another stretch. And the reason why I like this, this is kind of a corner stretch. I may have this somewhere else, but the corner stretch, we just get in the corner and just lift our arms up 90 degrees and just lean in. I kind of like that. Here's another one. Uh, this is a very good stretch, by the way. Uh, really, it's called the corner stretch. I like that one very much. Here's another angle of the other one that we saw laying on the ground. Just so you can see, you noticed on this one, instead of her arm being all the way out, you see it's at 90 degrees, her elbow, you're going to get a different stretch. All right. This is really nice. This is a beautiful stretch. Uh, here is another one. But what this is showing you is that you're in the corner, but you look at his arms. Instead of his hands being upwards or downwards, getting a different stretch on that angle. Really important. 90 degrees. Uh, here, just another stretch getting inside a doorway, similar to the one we showed you. I'm repeating a couple of them just so I can ingrain it a little bit easier because sometimes the, the more you see something, the easier it is. Okay, uh, this is just kind of getting uh, on the angle again. You can see it here, but you can actually try bringing your hands a little further outwards uh, and you'll get a little different stretch. I'm just trying to give you some different ideas. Some of them are very similar. Um, I really like this one. Uh, this is... Um, just putting like a, uh, a pillow or something, a roller up uh, in the mid thoracic spine, going up the spine behind the head and just letting the arms settle back like that. Really beautiful stretch. Very few people ever thought of this. I think this is genius. This is really a nice, beautiful stretch. And a lot of these things, you got to try them because you're really going to say, wow, I never knew I could open my chest up like that. Guess what? When you open that chest up, you are going to see big changes in your posture. You're going to be able to sit up taller. You're not going to get that total contraction all the time and do this every day. Do it twice a day initially, three times a day and start, you know, taper it off and start doing it daily. You can stretch as much as you want. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, now, what I like about this one for people that love yoga, uh, this is just a, a person on a mat doing yoga. What do they do in yoga? They look up. They sit up, they pinch those shoulders, play back, beige back, and you notice she's just bringing her arms, but you notice that her hands are facing forward. Very important. Now, I'm going to go ahead and step back a second. So I want you to look at me. I know my cam is small on this, but if I stand up, okay, and you look at my hands when they're facing forward, but as I turn them this way, Okay, if I roll my hands and you start seeing the back of my hands, that means my arms, my shoulders are starting to pronate. Okay, like this. So that means when I open my hands, they come back. See what I'm doing here? When I close my hands, the back of them facing you, it closes. When I open my hands, it comes, uh, it, come, it opens up and comes, it's supposed to open up. So when you do these particular stretches, keep your hands open okay because you're opening up the chest that way just a little tip for you uh, now you notice you can actually just grab onto anything here he's just grabbing onto a rope or something that you have at your house and as you just grab onto that rope uh, you can kind of be uh, a little bit you know you can play with it a little bit just kind of shift your body just lightly pull and you'll start to feel stretching of those chest muscles so you can be a little creative. Here she is uh, just bringing her uh, elbow up a little higher. Uh, now you can have someone assist you. I, I really like this. I have uh, my therapist do this to me. I'll just sit on, sit on a, a bench, put his knee behind me, grab my arms, and as he pushes his knee forward, just pulls my arms back. He has total control. If he's pulling back and I say, ow, ow, that's too much, then he lets up. 
Okay, so this is a really good stretch, uh, a really good stretch you can do with a friend, a spouse, a loved one, a kid, whoever you want to do it with. Uh, this is another really good one. These are all great. I, I love these things. Um, just when you work, just rest the back of your arms on the back of the chair. And then what you do is just kind of, you can lower your body a little bit if you want. Just lower your body and you'll feel a nice, nice stretch. This is something you could do right in your chair. Again, here, just grabbing onto something, just pulling, okay, as we said in the other one. Here's another one as she's kind of lifting uh, back, as she uh, grabs her hands behind her back. Okay, we're, we're winding up here. Hang tight. Here's another one as I show you her hands are on the back of the chair. Uh, similar to what we showed you before, notice his hands are open, very important. Here's another band, different kind of band behind the neck. This kind of opens up the chest. And uh, here is a, just another view of being up, being across, and going down low. And this just shows you right angles of uh, you can do on any wall, which you've already seen that in the past. You know, those are really, really good stretches. I really hope that um, you'll put this to work because these pec minors, they will always stay shortened. They will always contract. And that uh, you need to make sure before you work on anything when it comes to posture, uh, those pec minors must always be stretched. Really important. I promise you, you stretch those pecs, you're going to start to feel, you'll be able to breathe easier. Um, you're going to be able to sit up taller. You're going to have a lot more freedom. You're going you're to have a lot more mobility. It's going to help your neck because you're not going to get this forward rounding. Uh, and it's really going to take a lot of stress off the spine. I really hope this helps you. Share these videos. Share them on your social media. Check out my channel, Motivational Doc, if you are a new uh, viewer here. And check me out, Motivational Doc, on Facebook. Uh, whatever thumbs up you give me, I appreciate it. And uh, whatever uh, reviews you can leave over there, I also appreciate that as well. Uh, most important thing, I wish all of you uh, many blessings. Continue to stay proactive. We'll continue to fire up uh, great information, education for you to keep you healthy worldwide. May God bless you, and we'll catch up with you real soon. Make it a great day or a great night. Bye-bye now.